Let's understand what it means when we say TCP sliding windows are byte-oriented. In TCP, each byte of data is numbered sequentially. This means that rather than numbering packets or segments, TCP tracks individual bytes of data. For example, if we have a stream of data, each byte gets its own sequence number. One, two, three, and so on. The window size in TCP is measured in bytes, not packets. For example, if we have a window size of five bytes, it means exactly five bytes can be transmitted before requiring acknowledgement. When acknowledgements are received, they reference specific byte numbers. For instance, if TCP receives ACK4, it means all bytes up to and including byte 3 have been successfully received. As bytes are acknowledged, the window slides forward continuously, byte by byte. This allows for smooth, continuous flow of data transmission. It's important to note that segment boundaries don't matter in this system. Data can be divided into segments of different sizes, but TCP still tracks individual bytes, not how they were packaged for transmission. In conclusion, TCP's byte-oriented approach allows for precise tracking and control of data flow at the byte level, making it both flexible and reliable for data transmission.